my wife's silly. Anyways, I'm uh, what I'm doing up here is uh, I went ahead and got the panels up and, and the frame and everything and set it all down, made sure everything was aligned right. And so the one side I secured down. And this side, what I have to do, I went ahead and drilled all these holes for my frame, which is right here, this frame railing. I gotta take my grinder, get rid of some of this paint, because you don't want to attach your adhesive. Because what I'm gonna do is put a polyurethane uh, adhesive on on the surface here. So the polyurethane, from what I understand, I believe it's similar to what they use in automotive to bond body panels together. It's a very strong adhesive. So I'm gonna put the adhesive on there. So that'll help to act as a waterproofer, but mainly I want it to help adhere the, the frame so it could never blow off. And on top of that, about every two inches, I got a sheet metal screw going through. And then what else I'm going to do is on each side, I, on the inside of the bus where the old speakers and lights used to be, I got access holes in there. I'm going to put a uh, 5 8 inch bolts with some washers on it to go through. Put a washer on the inside. That way you got a bolt going right through to the washer on the inside. And so it would have to rip that whole thing out of the sheet metal, which it's probably not going to do. So. I just don't ever want these panels coming out. This is a pretty intricate setup, I know, but I had to do this because of the way I wanted to mount the panels flat on here. We got a nice breeze under here, so it keeps it cool. Your panels work more efficiently when they're cool. Uh, and I can also have the option to tilt it. Not that I really want to tilt it that much. I don't really know. I got to read more about that. You know, your wind, I don't want to blow them off. Uh, blowing off in a windstorm, but whatever. There's plenty of people doing it. Don't but anyways, long story short, this is what I'm doing now. That's it.